Well, thank you guys for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope. If you guys are tuning in for the first time or tuning back in after a while of being away, then I just would like to extend a very warm welcome to you and just let you know, first and foremost, our purpose is to simply pray for you. Then second of all, is to share God's word with you, right out of this living and active word of God. And lastly, is to create this into a community where you are known, loved, and valued. Well, thank you guys for tuning in, friends. I hope you are doing well. Today, we're going to be talking about uh, making sure that we keep God's Word, meditating on it day and night, that we're always uh, focusing on it, that it's the, at the top of our minds that it's a, what we're meditating on the most. We can meditate on other things, but this is the first thing that we should meditate on. You know, we should never forget this book. So we're going to be in Joshua 1 verse 8. If you have your Bibles, I encourage you to please flip along to that passage with us or turn on your Bibles and... And then we'll jump into this topic. Let's pray. I just flip into this passage. Father God, would you speak to us now by this passage? God, God, would you teach us the importance of keeping your book, your law, and meditating on it? Would you teach us the importance of that, God? Oh God, we want to become more like you, God. Would you speak to us by this passage through, through your word? Speak to us now. Amen. All right, friends. Joshua 1 verse 8, it says this. Keep this book of the law always on your lips meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it here's the ending then you will be prosperous and successful all right friends we're going to break it down and talk about it what does this mean it says keep how does it start out it says keep this book of the law always on your lips does it say sometimes on your lips this is did it say now and then on your lips no it says always that means Every day. Not just Monday through Friday. Not just the weekends. Not just specific days that you, when you feel like it. It says, keep this book of the law always on your lips. So we need to always keep it on our lips every day. What does it say next? Always on what? Your lips. What do you speak from? Your mouth. Your lips. So we need to always do this. Keep it on our lips. What? What does it say next? It says, meditate on it day and night. Meditate. Think about it. Day and night. During the day and night. Before you go to bed at night. Day and night. When you can't sleep in the middle of the night. Meditate on it. Day and night. So what? So that you may be careful. Why we, Why do we do this? So that we may be careful to do what? Everything written in it. We're not going to do it perfectly. God knows we're not perfect. But that we may be careful to do everything written in it. Right? Good. Some things right. God knows we're not going to get everything right. Because he know he knows we're not perfect. So so why do we do this? So that we may be careful to do everything written in it. Why? Here's the hope. Here's how it ends. Then you will be prosperous and successful. The only way to be truly prosperous and successful, friends, is following God's word, following his commands. The word will tell you one thing. But friends, ultimately this book, this word of God tells you the way to live. So if you want to see if your beliefs, if your values are lining up with the Bible says, look to the Word. Friends, I, in my opinion, I think we look to the Word way too much than looking to God's Word. I think we should switch it up. But I think we should look to God's Word more than the Word. Amen? So what's my challenge for you today? My challenge is that you would Keep this book of the law always on your mind. Always on your lips. Don't keep this the, the latest movie that you saw, like Deadpool, I think Deadpool is out, or whatever, on your lips. Keep the book of the law always on your lips. So important, friends. Amen? Let's pray. Father God, I pray for these people watching this video, Lord. If someone has not given their life to you, Lord, I pray they would respond right now by the sound of my voice. I pray they would say, Father God, I give my life to you, Lord. I believe you died on the cross. I believe you rose again, Lord. And God, I surrender everything at your feet. And I say yes, Lord, to follow you the rest of my life. Amen. And God, for the people who are once Christians but have decided to walk away from you, for a while, however it be, maybe, Lord, I pray that you would draw them back to yourself, Lord. They would see that they need you. That they can't go on one more day living the way they have been without you. So God, draw them back to yourself. Thank God for all of us who already made this decision, Lord, 
to choose you, Lord? Would we continue to choose you every day? Would we continue to meditate on your word? Would we never grow weary in doing good and seeking you, God, and studying your word? Would we always be eager to do this? Oh, God, we pray this all in your name. Amen. Well, friends, if you just prayed one of these prayers today for the first time with us, would you please let us know which prayer you prayed so we can rejoice with you, so we can celebrate with you as heaven rejoices. It's our privilege to celebrate. We want to um, just come alongside you and just um, hear which prayer you prayed so we can walk with you. As always, if you have any prayer requests, if we can serve you in any way that we can, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear how we can serve you. We'd love to hear how we can support you. And until next time, we hope you have a blessed day. Keep Christ number one. God bless you all. Much love.